COVID-19 has made uh, the event business a struggle, but I'll have a couple of experts that will talk about why this may be the best time to plan your next event. That's next on The Jeff Crilly Show. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as we all know, during the height of the pandemic, everything seemed to be canceled. Fundraisers, galas, wedding events. Uh, so it was hard on their event business. To talk about that today, two of the leading experts in the nation, uh, two good friends, Donnie Brown, celebrity wedding and event planner, Steve Kimball, America. America's sassiest lifestyle <laughs> guru. And I gotta I gotta warn the viewer ahead of time. I told these guys, I said, now now I can print out the list of the seven words you can't say on TV. And, but this uh, isn't TV. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very afraid of this show. So. <laughs> you should be very oh my afraid. God. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I gotta tell you, so your your bios are almost too long to read, and this is only a 20-minute show. So we're gonna kinda Let's just kind of jump into, um, I'd like to get both of your takes on, you know, what happened at the beginning of, of the pandemic, and then why is this a great time to book an event? Who wants to start? you start. Well, obviously, when it all happened, everybody got scared. Everybody postponed. Everybody canceled. I had cancellations. I had postponements. I had some that postponed to this time of year. They got scared and postponed again. So things are happening mostly next year and the year after. Um, what I've found is that less and less people are willing to actually start planning right now because they're scared. They don't know. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. Are we going to have another spike? Is it going to get really bad before it gets worse? Are we going to get a vaccine? Are we ever going to get past this and get life back to normal as we once knew it? And the answer is we don't know. Mm -hmm. So I'd say there's maybe 10 or 15 percent of the clients that are still willing to do something right now. But there's a big block of potential brides and grooms that just simply want to wait and see what happens. Steve? I, I think we see like the, the biggest traction coming right now for second quarter of 2021. Right. You know, they're thinking now because when this first started, they were thinking, okay, we'll do it in the fall. Right. <laughs> well, no, push back to now we'll, we'll do it in the winter. When they no. said it was going to be a month. Right, exactly, yeah, right. exactly. And that, then it was like, let's do it after the beginning of the year. No. So now it's kind of like spring of 2021. But there are people doing, like Donnie said, like they're doing smaller events. Sure. You know, and but you just, and you have to do them socially distance and follow the CDC guidelines and stuff of that nature. But you can still do something. You just have to do it safely. Well, let's you know? talk about the opportunity because it seems like with all this talent, in you know in the in the wedding industry in the event business uh, people that you would normally never get access to they might have been out of your price range are suddenly available well you're absolutely right and there are a lot of people that you might not not have been able to get before but there's also a cross section of the industry that's gone that just simply mm -hmm. couldn't survive it yeah. uh, it's hit all of us extremely hard but right now is a time when we all have more time to deal with things than we might have before right. or we will have in six months or a year if you've got let's say 25 or 30 percent of the industry that said this is too unstable for me shut down and left when when things do get back on track there's only 60 70 percent that's actually still going to be available to do your event so there's going to be less availability less less everything for you right. to touch on so right now if you come to an event planner right now and say i'd like to go ahead and get started you're going to get more of their time you're going to get a more efficient planning process and even if it's a year or two down the road get it done now what's right. the point right. it actually helps you financially because you can spread out what you have to pay over a longer period of time so it doesn't hit you all at once right. 
because live events will come back. I think it, I think the industry was a little bit nervous at first when everything went virtually because it was like right. the whole world, whatever industry you're in, seems to be technology driven. And we thought, oh my gosh, the event industry, the live event industry is going to go away because of technology. But I think people have learned through the virtual thing. It's 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 great for now. It's a it's a way to communicate and connect with people. But I think they've also learned that there's there's nothing that can replace live events. That's exactly right. I mean, people right. need to interact. They need to socialize. It's a social thing. I yeah. mean, when you think about the things you do in life, you go to weddings, you go to galas, you go to these things. These are the things where we get dressed up and get to yes. go out and socialize. We and like not, that. And not touch <laughs> elbows, but right. hug and embrace yeah. and be together. <laughs> exactly. Otherwise, what's the point of living if you can't just be with all the people? And celebrate. And celebrate. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's... Well, I I do want my audience to know uh, who we're dealing with here. These two are just powerhouses in the industry. Uh, We've got sizzle reels on both. We're going to start with yours, Donnie. Let's go ahead and roll that tape now. I'm Donnie Brown of Donnie Brown Weddings and Events. I'm a celebrity wedding and event specialist. Welcome to my world. I've successfully organized over 3,000 beautiful weddings and events. I've won many awards for being a full-service luxury wedding planning firm. We have certified planners. We have decor specialists. My team and I can give you the ultimate wedding planning experience. I've done all kinds of weddings, whether they're in Dallas, New York, L.A., all over the world. We do destination weddings. Anywhere you want your wedding to be, we can make it happen. The most important thing that I can do for a client is to ensure that their dreams come to reality and that I interpret and understand what it is they're saying. I think the room is amazing and I just died when I walked in. Honey, look at it! Working with Donnie has been a dream. He's made it so simple and seamless and he's just made my my dream come to life. And every single time they say, this exceeds my expectations, as they just did to me tonight. Your wedding day is one of the most important days of your life, yet it can be one of the most stressful. This is one of the reasons why hiring a good wedding planner is vitally important. And no one knows weddings and event coordination better than I do. I'm known for perfection. I'm known for getting it right, and I'm going to make it right every single time. There's a freaking helicopter in our yard. (laughs) So come see me at Donnie Brown Weddings and Events and see how I can turn your vision into reality. Wow. <laughs> you right, like that? Uh, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna have uh, Steve Sizzle roll in a second, but let's stay with you, Donnie. Um, I was in the news business, which was a pressure cooker, 25 of years of stress, but I can't even imagine the stress that you must feel having to not only deal with the bridezilla and groomzillas of, of the world, uh, but also... Momzilla. Don't forget Momzilla. <laughs> Auntzilla. Aunt Sisterzilla. The, the, right. the weather. I mean, uh, everything. Yeah, everything. What's that like? Well, it's a lot of stress. I mean, because in our world, there's anything less than perfect is unacceptable. Um, and you can't control everything as much as you try. Uh, and, you know, someone's going to come in and throw a wrench into it the plan no matter what you do and it might be the the person that or the person or entity that you least expect like I had a bride one time that was in her dressing room getting hair and makeup done and her mother walked in the room with a bucket of fried chicken <laughs> I said I can't have her in her gown yeah. walking down the aisle smelling like fried chicken like, and no. she got mad at me and started screaming called me everything but a white man you can't say that on TV <laughs> exactly. you can't say that on TV exactly she called me everything she was horrified and you know come on yeah don't be stupid over chicken exactly and I'm in a fight with the mother of the bride over chicken <laughs> wow I can't even imagine <laughs> well the bride was thrilled that I took her by the nap of yeah. the hair and drug her ass out yeah. <laughs> well, that was the end of that. Give her a little Colonel Sanders. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do something with that chicken bone. You're yeah. not going to like it. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> All right, Steve, now it's your turn. Ooh, this, okay, it. this is your life, Steve Kimball. <laughs> an event planner named Steve Campbell. If you can believe it or not, I come from a family of four football coaches. And then there was me, the president of the band. Well, hello, Sugar Bottom. Yes. 
sexiest yes. lifestyle guru. <laughs> As a lifestyle guru, I help people become even more fabulous with constructive design and style advice. I teach them to have a high impact with a low amount of stress. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. Hey. How are y'all? Katie, I have a special treat. Here's Nicole Miller. How exciting is Hi, this? Nicole. Katie the Bride. This is all so exciting. Well, how are you, Steve? Fabulous. How are you? You're so low energy. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 Hello. There's so much drama going on here. No. No, man. <laughs> There's a way to do it the right way. Give me, I know just a, as a sidebar, you threw President Bush a big party. Yes. What was the reason? Both Bushes. Both Bushes. Yes. What was I'm the... from Texas, of and course. so are the Bushes. I know Steve is from Texas, so like everything is big in Texas. So I think if we like, tell him something, he'll just take it up a notch, and it'll be like you know something that we probably couldn't imagine. My reputation's on the line too, <laughs> so it's got to be absolutely perfect. Have you ever thought about your own reality show? Oh, I well, think maybe. <laughs> oh my God, you two! Oh my gosh, we're having a love fest this morning. I love this. I'm Steve wow. Jobs, and I'm a celebrity <laughs> wedding planner. It's a love fest! <laughs> All right, so I gotta add, you have such a big personality. Are you allowed to have a down day? I mean, I've, never, I've honestly never seen you I, low energy. Do uh, you feel like you're always on show? Well, I feel like when I'm at home, I'm, I'm really relaxed. Yeah. And that's kind of like a place to get away. I think we all feel that way. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Kind of, just kind of like, like, Relax for a little bit. The lights come like, on let, and yeah. the switch turns on. Yeah, it's like, wee! Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, I asked you this before. Okay, go ahead. Do you remember the first time we met? I have no idea. I really don't. Okay, it was during Trinity Fest. Remember okay. the big fireworks celebration that Dallas yep. had? The Grucci family did yep, it yep. and all. And we had 200,000 people in downtown Dallas. Okay. It was huge. It's the first time they'd ever done it downtown. And I was the event producer. And oh, you cool. were a reporter with Fox at that time, no. investigative. That's when you were doing the kind of no, like. Was I, was I mean? Mean. I was? <laughs> yeah. I am so yes. hilarious. You were like, because it was like, you came out the day before. Yeah. You did it right there at the reunion arena. Yeah. You know, at the lot, the big parking lot out there that's yeah. still there. And now it's kind of grass, but we did it there and you were like, Oh my God, look at all these holes. People are going to be standing out here. What would happen if somebody like tripped and fell? Look, there's a pothole there. There's a pothole over there. And I was like, oh my God, this guy's like, ah! I mean, it like, so, I mean, we like literally freaked out. So we asphalted all of those that night. So, and I was like, and we actually called the station. We said, why don't you come out the next morning? You're like, no, he's too busy. I was like, of course he is. I want him to see this. No idea. His yeah. event planner hat came But, on. I mean, point your, your point was correct. I mean, there were like, but it was well, just your delivery. Well, and this is, <laughs> in, 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 a, in a very small way, I, I would like to make it up. <laughs> so, yeah, but it was like, I was like, oh my God, he's so mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I have so never sorry. seen you raise your voice to anybody. Well, it was kind of like Thank when you. you were doing that yeah. investigate, well, I don't know what you called it, like, yeah. Like open the door and like, look, there's roaches on the floor. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> that bitch had glass in her salad. I know. Her salad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I did. No, but you, did you were like, you, but you room. were correct. It was like we needed to repair those, and we did repair them. But <laughs> you were too busy to come see them the next day. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, and it was like, we thought it was going to be like a happy story about fireworks. And the first time, like, look at these. And of course, he wanted to do the interview, not me not that realizing was, I think that you're point. mistaken. I think that was Dana Driver. Right. <laughs> see, see, I want, we've known each other for so long. He's been holding on to that for 20 years. I know. To, to spring it on me. And it, well, it was plus, and he was like, let's do the interview right here. I was like, okay. Oh, well, it's like goodness. right at a pot. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was wrong. I yeah. should not have done that. <laughs> you were right. I will say you were right. Well, that's when you were an investigative reporter. You were looking for things was, to make sure yeah. things were right. Right. Yeah. And somebody could have 
tripped and fallen with 200,000 people. Essentially, out there. viewers, he's saying I was fake news back before fake news was <laughs> <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> so, exactly. So, exactly. So, yeah. So, well, let, hey, let's do this. We've got about a minute left. Uh, give us some final thoughts to the people watching this thinking, uh, you know, should I hold off more before holding an event or just go ahead and, and start and your the, planning yeah. now? Yeah, this start is the time now. to do it. We all have more time to help you now than right. we will have in a few months. Um, costs are going to be better. How you, how you finance your event, you have longer to stretch it out. There's all kinds of ways that you can benefit from this. There are discounts available, even though some people don't think there are. There are discounts right. available. And it gives you something fun and positive to think about That's right, right. Now. Focus think on about, something down the yeah. road. I love it. I love yeah. it. Okay, we're going to put both of your websites up. Uh, we'll begin with uh, yours, Donnie. It's DonnieBrown.com is the website. Get in touch with Donnie for all of your event needs. And SteveKimball.net is... Uh, dot com. Dot com. We, we com. went to dot com, we went to, uh, So yeah. I, I apologize. So it's, uh, it's dot net or dot com will both get you there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, and uh, you guys have been amazing. Uh, you do need your own show. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Can you imagine the two of us together on yeah. camera? Yeah. All hell would know. break And loud. maybe, possibly, we'll bring you on as a guest. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to come up with something clever to Oh, we've got some you. things we'd like to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, guys, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks so much. Thank you. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. <laughs>